In this examination of Richard III and Hamlet, I will look at how Shakespeare uses the role of conscience in these two plays. Conscience plays a large role in the plot of both Richard III and Hamlet, as well as in the development of many characters in these plays. Shakespeare expresses his opinions regarding conscience through these plays, and shows the power that he believes conscience has. In Richard III, conscience determines the fate of the main character, Richard, and seems to be the one force that can stop him. Until this point in the play, Richard kills 12 people and seems to feel no sense of guilty conscience. Near the very end of the play, before an important battle, Richard's character reaches its peak. This is the moment that his, con his conscience catches up to him. During a dream, all of the people that he has killed come back to haunt him, which eventually leads to a loss of confidence and eventually his downfall. Here's a clip of that scene showing Richard's sudden change in character once he is affected by his conscience. Myself, but why? For any good that I myself have done unto myself. Oh no, alack, I rather hate myself. For hateful deeds committed by myself. I'm a villain. In Hamlet, conscience plays a similar role, but one that is a bit more complicated. One of the main characters, in this case, Claudius, believes that he can overcome his conscience in order to gain power. Shakespeare shows us another character that is brave enough to challenge his own conscience, which again is unsuccessful. Because of what Claudius did to his father, Hamlet is determined to get revenge. His first objective is to make Claudius realize his guilty conscience, which he is convinced that he has. In order to expose Claudius' conscience, Hamlet decides to put on a play depicting his father's murder and watch Claudius' reaction. His plan works, and Claudius eventually leaves the play due to guilt. This gives Hamlet enough evidence to continue his plan for revenge. In this scene, Shakespeare is showing the subconscious control that conscience has over people who have killed. Here's a clip showing that moment. Thou mixed your rank of midnight weeds collected with Eckert's bane, thrice blasted, thrice infected by natural magic and dire property on wholesome life. Usurp immediately. He poisons him in the garden for his estate. His name's Gonzago, the player's extant and written choice Italian. You shall see anon how the murderer gets the love of Gonzago's wife. The king rises. What? Frighted with false fire. How bad, my lord? Give her the play. Give me some light. Away. Lights. Lights! 
Oh, good Horatio! This scene brings up the question. Would Claudius have been defeated by his conscience if Hamlet had not initiated it with his play? Although there cannot be a definitive answer to this question, a reader can speculate as to why Shakespeare made the decisions that he did. This is the difference between Hamlet and Richard III. And it leads me into the final question. What are Shakespeare's thoughts and opinions regarding the power and role of conscience? How does he show us these opinions? through these plays. Obviously, Shakespeare believes that conscience can strike unexpectedly and suddenly ruin all accomplishments you've achieved through your wrongdoings. He shows us this through Richard. Also, conscience plays a simpler role in this play because it does not require another character to catch up to Richard. This differs from Hamlet because Claudius shows no guilt until Hamlet provokes it. Differently, in Hamlet, Shakespeare leaves the reader with a question. If Hamlet had not known that his father was murdered by Claudius, would Claudius have been able to get away with his actions? If Shakespeare's message is consistent between Richard III and Hamlet, then the answer is no, because his conscience would eventually catch up to him. But perhaps, he is expressing another side of conscience. Is it possible to, f to defeat a guilty conscience? From the two plays, a reader can gather that generally, conscience is a force that defeats all. In these plays, Shakespeare is showing his belief that power should be worked for and earned rather than taken. He shows this by illustrating the unfortunate outcomes of Richard and Claudius. Conscience is a powerful force in both plays and Shakespeare shows us just how much it can affect the outcome of a play. Thank you.